Hey guys, welcome to Raymond versus Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to turn on BitLocker Drive Encryption and also how to view and save your recovery keys. So first thing we're going to do is click on the start button, bottom left corner, type control panel. It'll do a search, finds the control panel app. Go ahead and click on that. Click on BitLocker Drive Encryption. All right. We can see here the uh, main file system C BitLocker is off. So we're going to turn on BitLocker. Takes a moment. Now it wants you to save your recovery key. Without your recovery key, um, if your system thinks it's been compromised in some way, it will go ahead and require your recovery key to get your data off of it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit print the recovery key because you should print out a copy. Now, if you don't have a printer, there's other ways to do this as well. We're also going to do uh, Microsoft Print to PDF. And that's going to ask us to save a file. It's going to save it as a PDF. All right, so I'm just going to save the PDF on the desktop. And we're going to call it um, BitLocker Key. Now, a note about this one here, this PDF that we've saved here, um, and you could also save to a file, and it's going to save it as a TXT. Um, but when you save it, you have to save it on a different drive. If you're, if you're going to try to save it on C, it's going to say it can't be saved there because that's the area you're encrypting, which makes perfect sense. So even the thing I put on the desktop, same thing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to browse to a different drive and you could do it on a thumb drive or anything, but you don't want to lose this. I'll just put it on D. Oh, it can't be the root directory. OK, so we'll put it in my Dropbox folder, which I have on D and we'll just save it there. All right, and then um, that's all we're going to do. We're just going to have it printed and then we're going to have it saved. And so we're going to hit next. Encrypt use disk space only. That's the fastest way to do it. Um, if you encrypt the entire drive, um, it uh, it just takes longer. Um, I'm just going to do the use disk space only. Actually, I've been using this PC for a minute, so I'm going to encrypt the entire drive. Slower, but best for PCs and drives already in use. We'll just take their word for it. All righty, Windows 10 version 1511 provides new type. If this is a fixed drive or drive will only be used uh, on devices running at least Windows 10 version, you should use the new encryption mode. So I've got Windows 11 on this. So I'm going to, uh, I would normally say new encryption mode. It's best for drives on this device. I'm going to do compatible mode. You know, anytime I'm thinking about data, I'm thinking about compatibility. So I don't want to be in a situation where I go and try to get it off and it is uh, giving me some sort of issue based on, you know, uh, OS version or something like that. So I'm going to do compatible mode. And encryption might take a while, depending on the size of the drive. You can keep working while the drive is being encrypted, although your PC might run more slowly. Uh, this system check ensures BitLocker can re read the recovery and encryption keys correctly before encrypting the drive. I'd say that's pretty important. Alrighty, and now we're going to restart. All right, the computer just restarted, and uh, we're going to give it a moment here. And we're going to go to control panel. BitLocker drive encryption. Alrighty, cool. It's currently encrypting. So you'll see this here, this section, if your BitLocker is already turned on. Um, so if your BitLocker is already turned on, you want to make sure you have a backup of your recovery key. Without a backup of your recovery key, you are liable to lose everything on your system without having any way to get it off. So click on backup your recovery key. 
Um, I usually do the print option because I like the PDF. I do a print to PDF, print it. And you can go ahead and save it to your desktop. Um, it does no good to you if it's on the computer that is uh, being encrypted. So if this computer got flagged as being a problem and, uh, you know, it had to go ahead and request your recovery key, you can't just have it on the desktop. You have it on the desktop, it's going to be like, hey, give me your recovery key. You're like, okay, and you can't get to your desktop. Right. So you have to save these off somewhere else. You have to save them to ideally, um, you know, your OneDrive, your Dropbox, your box, your, um, you know, some kind of uh, cloud service I like using because then I could always pull it up on my phone if I need it. So that being said, my desktop location is actually on Dropbox because I like keeping my stuff backed up. And I can show you guys how to do that in a different video if you comment below and tell me you want to see that. But for now, that's how you back up your recovery key and that's how you set up BitLocker drive encryption on Windows 11. These steps will also work for Windows 10. You guys have a good day. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things, click the like button and share this to anyone who needs it. Is it too good to be true? I want this so much, but don't know if I can trust you. My mind's racing fast, trying to find the red flags. I'm you.